This video is to show you how you can use a big blue button that's located in Canvas to deliver your Nearpod lessons. When you are in one of your courses for Canvas, you will see on the sidebar a button that says Conferences. If you are not seeing it, you may need to go to your settings and make sure that it's visible. So under navigation, you would just make sure that conferences is up here and not at the bottom over here and just click save when you're done. I'm going to go ahead and click back to conferences and you'll want to add a conference. Here you can name the conference. If you have more than one option, you may, but big blue button is the one I'm gonna show you today. You can see the duration. I would definitely encourage to enable the recording and you can also say that there's no time limit, you can change the time, and you can make a description. Um, and then you can invite all course members if you would like. Once you click update, the conference will be there. To start the conference, you are going to click start. It's going to take you to big blue button. So if you've never used big blue button before, it is very basic, it's going to ask you first, how would you like to join audio? So as an instructor, you would want to join with your microphone so you could speak to them. For your students, you would probably want them to go listen only, but you can have them do microphone and then mute themselves if you want them to talk. They can, of course, change this at any point. You may need to allow your microphone access, and that's okay. We'll have you do an echo test to make sure everything is good. And You are good. So this is what you're going to see. There is a chat so you can speak to your students. What's great about Nearbot is that students will only need the code and you don't necessarily need to have your screen shared, but I will show you how you would do that if you want your screen shared. So here, there's a lot of different tools that you can do. I have a plus button where I can start a poll, upload a presentation, share external video. I can show my webcam, so if I want my students to see me while presenting, you can absolutely do that. And this is where you'd share your screen, which I'll show you in a second. On the side here, you would see all your students who are in, and I can click here, and I can mute myself at any time as well if I need to. I can share notes. Etc. So a lot of resources here for you. So here I have my Nearpod code. So what I could do is I could either put the link or the code into the chat here for my students to see and access. If you do not need to project anything and just need them to follow along, you do not need to share your screen. However, if you would like to share your screen, you can simply do that by clicking this button down here and pick which screen you want to share if you have multiple screens open. And now it's going to show you what is being seen. And I will then minimize my big blue button. And now my Nearpod screen will be showing. And now I can go through my Nearpod lesson like I normally do would with my students. If you still want to see some things with big blue button, like the chat, that is okay. You can just go ahead and move it to the side there and have the chat and still be able to present your Nearpod lesson. There's a lot of options here, but remember you do not need to share your screen, but you absolutely can. Well, I hope you enjoy using Nearpod and Big Blue Button.